Yo, this is JD Zero bringing you another PokeTuber battle against a um, against Typhlosion 64. It's a rematch. It's a Rage, Rage Legendary rematch. Uh, so he wants to get his rematch, and I was like, cool. He wanted all to be legendaries. I was like, cool. Uh, he really wants to make a comeback from the last match that we had. I pretty much want to make it one for one instead of the the fact that I have one over him and he only has zero. So he has one loss and I have one win. He wants to make it a pretty much a tie. So. Basically, I've been making a little bit misplays in this match here. Uh, I do go for a hard step. He goes for it overheats, one shotting Fisachi because he started off with a uh, Volcanion and I had a Jirachi that just kind of part still. Uh, I'm actually gonna get that Volcanion. I have not gotten the Volcanion yet, and they already have the event for this Pokemon, so I might as well get the US version of this thing. Yeah. Cause I was like, I was wondering how they get the Japanese one, but I was like, yeah, whatever. Uh, I'll I'll get the U.S. version from GameStop, so it's it's cool, it's cool. Uh, again, uh, like I said, I made misplays here for this part where I have a Thunder Cannon because I could have just Shadow Ball and then Volt Switch out instead of uh, Shadow Ball and then Iron Head. And then I wouldn't have gotten the burn. That was directly my fault on that part. I was like, oh, what I could have did was this instead of that. And then maybe I wouldn't have gotten into that situation. So that was my fault on that part that I did that I feel like I could have changed. Same thing for this one where I go for the knockoff because he had the uh, adamant orb where it basically would increase the moves of the dragon pokemon especially this particular dragon pokemon Dialga. so i was like okay well at least i got that off and i wouldn't have got one shot by this thing but i feel like i shouldn't have went for the iron head for the second move i should have went for a uh aura spear for the second move and then another Aura Spear to kill it off. Uh, at least that would have been a little bit better choice than what I did. But at least I avoided the second roar of time and I was good. He sends out White Kerum. Now, White Kerum I had an issue with, honestly. Uh, I feel like there could have been so many things with this White Kerum that it could have did. Uh, like I said, Aura Spear did look like it's a super effective move. Uh, what I when when it was when it got killed, I was like, okay, let me send in Thundercat and Volt Switch it and see how much damage it does from Volt Switch. It doesn't do a lot. I don't know why it doesn't do a lot. Cause it's, I mean, I understand it's not part flying, but I feel like even that crit should have did a little bit better than what it did um but i sent it to lendo i feel like at this moment in time i should have went for the uh what you call it the uh i had a stone edge basically i mean it avoids the fissure but i think i would have a more accuracy point chance of getting lending the stone edge than fissure so i should have just went out to use a fissure and and it did that. Uh, same thing for this this part here. Again, I put in sacred and I go for the eruption and see if I could kill it off with the eruption. It didn't kill it off. Then I was like, maybe I should have went for the second eruption because I'm pretty sure I miss it. I'll miss the sacred fire. There you go. I miss the sacred fire. He goes for another roost. I go for a, another sacred fire. Hopefully that second sacred fire does kill it, but it doesn't kill it and I kind of get it to like what like about two or three HP left on his bar and he goes for a shadow ball to take out sacred and I was like, okay, 
There we go. Yeah. I I can't do anything about that. It's it's happening. It's doing it now. I can't do anything against it. So I sent out Thundercat, and Thundercat was able to take this out because I, like I said, it was at least two or three HP left. I was I was getting right there at that range to take it out. Uh, then I switch into Saitama, my Mewtwo X, and basically since this is down to the two last Pokemon that I had, he only had three Pokemon left. He goes into Sins, the uh, Garatina. This Garatina, oh, basically where that name come from. If you watch Undertale or anything like that, because I heard of this name from Undertale. I don't watch Undertale. I don't play the game at all. So yeah, I learned the name when I saw the character, and I was like, okay, cool. I understand where he got the name from since. So he just did that reference. Uh, I switch out because I, I was fearing the uh, Shadow Force coming by, and I just said, you know what, fine, I'll sack off Thundercat, even though Thundercat was doing such a great job during the whole thing. Uh, and then I sent, a, I sent back out my Saitama for the last Pokemon that I have. I go for another Ice Punch, taking out the. Uh, uh, Garatina, but then since he only has uh, Rayquaza being the Mega Rayquaza and he has Primal Cryogre, I can't really do anything too much to this Rayquaza before going to his Kyogre because he has Delta Stream and I only have Ice Punch. And Ice Punch, what you see right there, it would just not do as much damage that it was supposed to. When it should, that should have been a one shot, but it only got it down to a two shot hit where he goes for a flying type move, killing all Saitama and a one hit kill. And there you go, now we're one for one in this whole match. Uh, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this legendary rage mode match, uh, Comment, share, scroll by that like button, put your first series on, say awesome guys. Bye!